In this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically format your values in Tableau. And for the purpose of demonstration, I've created this view, which shows values uh, in different uh, years and months. And all of this is based on some dummy data, simply for demonstration purposes. And as you can see from this view, uh, for cases whereby we have large values, you can see that they are not visible or legible. And therefore, we're going to learn uh, one way we can be able to format this value to ensure that even in the future, when our dashboard gets updated with new data, which contains probably large values, uh, that particular dashboard shall always remain uh, visible, not visible, but legible to the users. And to do that, what we're going to do, we're going to create a calculated field or rather a dynamic calculation which I'm going to do that by coming here and create a calculated field. Let's call it dynamic, dynamic values uh, formatting. And to format the values, I'm going to begin with values uh, in the range of thousands. So I'm going to write if uh, the sum of value uh, is greater or equals to a thousand and the sum of values is less than uh, one million. So basically I'm trying to pick the values within a, between a thousand and one million or so I'm going to include another calculation to pick the values on the negative side because as you can see this data contains both positive and negative values. So all the sum of values uh, is less or equals to minus a thousand and the sum of values is greater than minus, sorry, minus one million. So this particular calculation is picking uh, all values between a thousand and one million in both sides, that is in both the positive and negative values. And for those values, so I'll say then, so in such case then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take those values, that is the sum of values, and I'm going to divide that value by a thousand, and again, I'm going to round off the value, or rather the result. So I'm going to round the result into one decimal place. And for this case, I'm also going to convert the value to a string, simply because I'm going to add a string at the end of this particular uh, value. So convert to a string, and I'm going to add the string k, simply to signify those values are in a thousand. So I'm simply adding the results here, the value that is the string K at the end of it to show that this value is in the range of a thousand. Next, I'm going to nest another calculation to pick the values in the range of one million. So I'm going to say else if um, the sum of values is greater or equals to, in this case, one million, and the sum of values is less than one billion. So one billion is nine zeros. Let me confirm this. So it's nine zeros, okay? Or, so that I can pick on the negative side, the sum of values is less or equals to minus one million and the sum of values uh, is greater um, than minus uh, one billion. Then in that case, what we're going to do 
I'm going to take that value, that is the sum of the values, and divide it by 1 million, okay? Where in this case, I'm going to round this particular value, that is the result, I'm going to round uh, them to one decimal place, and of course, convert them to a string because I need to add a string at the end of this particular calculation. Whereby in this case, I'm going to add the string uh, M uh, to signify these values are in the range of millions. So let's nest another calculation. That is the billion calculation. So as if uh, the sum of values it's greater or equals to 1 billion. So there should be nine zeros. And for this case, what you're going to assume is the largest value that we can have is a billion. So I'm not going to go past that. So as if the sum of value is greater than uh, a billion and all, because I now need to take the uh, negative side, or the sum of values uh, is less or equals to minus a billion, simply to take on the negative side. So let me check whether these are nine zeros. That's okay. Then in that case, what you're going to do, you're going to pick the value, that is the sum of value, and I'm going to divide uh, the results uh, by one billion. Okay, and round off this particular uh, result, sorry, so I should round into one decimal place, and of course convert it to a string, so to add the value, or rather the string B, to signify those values are within the range of a billion, else, that is for all the other cases, and in this case, we assume in the other cases are uh, those values which are below a thousand, because you can see we began from a thousand upward. So the rest of cases, that is the values which are below a thousand, we're going to uh, return. That is the sum of values, because we don't want to round them. Uh, we want to return them as they are. For example, as you can see here, we have 567. We want to return it as it is because it's within uh, zero to a thousand. And of course, we have to convert it to a string because as you can see, all our results are in uh, strings. So let me convert it to a string. And I'm going to close my calculation. And as you can see, it's valid. So this is the calculation that we're going to use to dynamically uh, format our values, where you can see for all those values which are in the range of a thousand and one million, uh, both the positive and negative values, we're going to uh, convert them, uh, we're going to divide them by a thousand, and of course round off, or rather round them to one decimal place and uh, add a K at the end to signify those values are within a thousand. For those who are between a million and one billion, we're going to uh, convert them to this uh, uh, value and add an M at the end to signify those values are within a million. And for the billion, you can see them. And the rest, we're going to return them as they are. And now let's add this particular uh, calculation to the view. So I'm going to remove the sum of values from label and I'm going to replace it with this particular value. And now you can see how we formatted the view, where you can see all the values are visible and legible within the view. And of course, we can add this particular sum of value to the tooltip so that uh, in case a user needs to know uh, the exact value, they can always be able to over to read uh, the exact values. And basically, that's how you can be able to dynamically uh, format values to ensure that even in the future, when your dashboard is updated with large values, uh, it will stay as legible and visible to the user as possible. And in case your users want to see the actual values, they can always over on the view to see or rather to read 
uh, the actual numbers. And basically that's how you can dynamically format your values to future proof your dashboards uh, in Tableau. Thanks everyone.